Lawrence, Monday morning, Mac 2018. This, this has got to be one of your highlights as well here, here isn't it? On the Mazak stand, the i500? Yes, the i500, it's our latest Integrex machine. Um, clearly, we've got a lot of pedigree with Integrex technology. Um, this one is bridging the gap now where we've got a capability to run a, a C6 or a C8 joint. Um, Let's talk about that to start with. The, the C8, that, that's a more heavier duty uh, tooling, isn't it? So, so you can do heavier cuts, correct? That's correct, yes. And, you know, this machine recognises that and uh, we, we close the gap between the E420 and the E500 machine with this. We can run t longer tool lengths and we can use all the available milling capability. I mean, you're definitely one of the leaders in multitasking machines at Mazak. So when you come to supply these, do they tend to do you sell more of them with a single spindle or, or, or a dual spindle? How does that work? At this size of machine, it tends to be a, a tailstock steady rest configuration simply because of the size of the workpiece. But that said, we do offer two spindles. Um, two spindles tend to be for smaller workpiece sizes. I want to learn more as well about the milling side of this as well, because that's a hell of a part that you've got on there. I mean, we're not just talking about mill drill here, are we? We're talking about proper, proper milling. Yes, I mean, the machine is a full five axis um, machining centre, effectively. Um, it's got full five axis capabilities, as I said, 12,000 RPM mill spindle capability. It can carry out B axis turning, it can carry out complex gear cutting, such as skiving, smooth gear milling. Um, and gear hobbing, so it's very, very flexible in terms of what it can create. Are you using the same technology in this spindle as you do on your machining centres? Yes, very much, yes. It's, it's a true mill spindle. And when you talk about um, gear skiving and, and hobbing, is that something that's very new to this sort of technology? Well, we've been gear hobbing for, since about the year 2000 on these machines, but skiving is always the demanding uh, technology because it needs very precise synchronisation on the machine tools. And we've, uh, we're focusing on that at Mazak during this Mac show. We've actually got three machines running skiving. And this is the i500. The range goes up and down from here, doesn't it? It does, yes. It starts at a six-inch chuck machine and goes up to a machine that will swing 3.5 metres in a vertical configuration. So we've covered pretty much all of the range of requirements. I, I also like the way the tool changer is actually uh, visible to the left of the machine rather than at the back on some machines. Would, would you class that as an advantage as well? Yeah, definitely. On this particular machine, you can service the tools when you're actually in cycle and you can be at the front of the machine when that's occurring. In addition to that, on the smaller machines, moving the magazine with the carriage can be a, a disadvantage. So we'd like to keep it at the front of the machine, uh, very close to where the tool change activity is occurring. I know it's very early in the day at the moment, but uh, e even before we started this interview, this machine was attracting a lot of attention. Do, do you think that this is one of your highlights here this week, Lawrence, for engineers to see? Definitely, yes. We've got four key machines, but this is one of the, the stars of the show for us. Great stuff. Thank you. Okay, thank you.